about a month ago, I posted my results using an automated trading bot, Bitstab. And the most frequently asked question was, what does investment change section of the bot mean? So my video was for absolute beginners without getting into technical analysis with no trading experience. So I didn't cover every single area of the bot, but indeed it is very important to know what that tab means. So let's get into it. Investment change is this one here. You have bot profit and you have this change section here. This one is pretty straightforward, we can all agree. But then what does this one mean here? Let's look at the different scenarios that can play out in the market. In trading, we have your base currency and your quote currency. Your base currency is going to be your altcoin of choice and then your quote currency is going to be either Bitcoin, another altcoin or a stable coin. These two together is your pair. The, that's your pair. That's the pair that you're trading. That's your trading pair. All right. Now, currency strength. In the market, the price is, there's going to be one, one side of your pair. So the left or the right is going to be either stronger or weaker than the other. Okay. And so the bot, it, it trades based on currency strength. So it profits on the way up and on the way down. So you place buy orders on the way up and you place sell orders on the way down. In order for the bot to do this, it needs to buy a certain amount of your base currency. Your base currency is on is the first currency. So it's on the left. Your quote currency is on the right. Okay, so if you're trading something against Bitcoin, then Bitcoin is your quote currency and this something is your base currency. You open a bot with your pair of choice. There's going to be a starting price for each one. Let's say Cardano, Bitcoin, for example. Cardano, uh, at the time of opening the bot, Cardano was at $1 and Bitcoin was at, let's say, 50K, right? And then let's say a week later, Cardano is at 50 cents and Bitcoin is at 25K. There is a 50% drop in price in both, okay? Just to make it easy. This is going to reflect over here in change. Okay, so change, what it measures basically is the fluctuations in price since you entered the trade. So since you opened the bot, since you opened the trading pair on the bot, all right? That's basically what it is. It takes into account also the bot profits. So let's have a little look at a real life situation where I'm in a negative. Over here, you can see, let's just have a look here. So I have been using the bot for about two months now and so far on change, it's all in the green. Look at Koti. Woo! I just wanted to like brag about that. So coming up here, my most recent trade, and I'd also like to point this out. I've got one in range. I haven't actually exited the trade because um, I was waiting for Venus to go back into the grid because I feel like it's a very strong currency, but it hasn't. <laughs> so I might just close the bot. I feel comfortable with closing this bot because it's in a profit. So I'll be taking the profits and then I'll get back into the trade and make some more profit. So I'm just going to show you this. I know it's a little bit off topic, but um, I think it's useful information. So let's have a little look. So let's click on this, Venus, you're a star. Let's come up here. Wow, this is huge. You don't want to be looking at a chart that is this big. Okay, yeah, let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, so it's been making some profits. It also makes profits on the way down. As you can see, it's been placing these trays and then boop, I fell out of the grid. And um, this is basically when we had a red market for Bitcoin, Ethereum and all the other apps. Everything just went red. There was some... I think RSR performed pretty well during the bloodbath, but it wasn't a bloodbath. It was just a retracement, okay? It's not a bloodbath. We had a bloodbath last year. That was a bit terrible. Oh my God. But <laughs> I believe we're in a bull market. I'm kind of positive about that. <laughs> Hopefully I'm right. <laughs> okay, back to the chart. It's taken its sweet time to go back into the grid. So I'm happy to exit here. And then because I do believe it's gonna, it's gonna go back up from here, I'll just make profits on the way up. If you're optimistic, you could wait for this to come back in and then we'll play some tr more trades here. But if you exit now, then you, you might as well just exit now and just make some profits on the way up if you think it's gonna go up, right? Right? <laughs> Why did I not do that? 
I'm very easy going with my long-term pairs. I do trade news. I did do that in one of my other videos where I traded fun and I was basically just, I was just in it for the day because some good news came out. I believe the price was gonna go up in, you know, not, not too much, but really good in line with, I think it was US dollar. But I, yeah, I felt like I was gonna make some good profits on the way up. So it was like a day strategy just for me. It was not financial advice. Hopefully nobody else entered upon. It's still a good project, I don't think it's not, but I sometimes trade news. And so I get in, I watch the market, I get out, maybe at the end of the day or maybe within a day or two, maximum, okay? Do not do this if you're a beginner, do not. If you are a beginner, then you have to focus on strong currencies, all right? Focus on strong projects, like within the first 10. That's the safe, that's, that's safe, you know? It's pretty, it's not safe, nothing safe. <laughs> I fell off my chair. This is this is this is very you know unsafe crypto people. <laughs> Even though your holdings could go to zero and you can get burned to the ground, I trust you're only investing money that you can afford to lose. All right, I trust you are doing that. Okay, so if you lose all of your money, it will suck, but you can still survive. Don't invest more money than you can afford to lose. I say that with my serious face. Serious. Don't invest more money than you can afford to lose. Losing sucks. I know, you don't wanna lose money. Like we're in the game to make profits and to become financially free and to live the life. Only use money that if you lose it, it's not the end of the world. It sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, and with that out of the way, what was I saying? You don't wanna be trading our coins that um, have no potential or pump and dumps. Don't trade pump and dumps. Um, if you're trading the pump, then know what you're doing. Just make sure you know what you're doing. And if it dumps, then don't beat yourself up for it because it's risky. When you put in your currency here, um, let's just, I'm just gonna click on one and then you click on start. The bot is gonna ask you if it's okay for it to purchase a little bit of your base currency so that it can make trades on the way down. Because if you're only holding your quote currency, say Bitcoin, and then the price goes down, then the bot needs to be able to sell something. So it's going to hold some of your base currency so that it can place sell orders and, and make you profits on the way down, all right? So this is where the change section comes into play. I saw that the price was dropping and, you know, I'm happy to hold some Venus. So I just left it. I would exit this bot because it's in a profit, right? Investment change here is in a profit. So I'm actually happy to close this bot. If you cancel all open orders, it will still keep the base currency. So we'll hold that in your spot account. If you go for sell at market price, what it's going to do is it's going to take your base currency, in my, in my case, Venus, and it's going to trade it instantly for US dollar. So I'll be holding US dollar, no Venus. Let's get to the interesting stuff. As I was saying before, we can encounter different market conditions. One of them is if your base currency and your cryptocurrency both go up at the same time. That's one situation. Another one is if your base currency and your quote currency, you get in the trade and the base currency goes down and the quote currency gets stronger in value, right? The opposite can happen as well, right? And then it can also happen where both currencies, they go down in value. Right, so you've got these, these four situations that can happen in the market. This will also be reflected in change, in, this, in the change section of the bot. If you open the bot at the beginning of a bear market and both currencies are going down in value, you're going to have a negative when it comes to investment change. You're going to have a negative number. Or if you got in and then price retraced, um, and you're, you're sitting through the retracement, then, because you can have retracements in bull markets, all right? So let's say you got in at the end of phase one, which is a technical analysis term, which you will learn in one of my videos on tech, in the technical analysis playlist, right? In the future, <laughs> in the near future, actually, we're almost there. So if you get in at the end of, you know, the movement upwards, and then you get, you open the, the bot here, and then all of a sudden you have a phase two where, you know, it's just a, it's just a breathing out of the market, basically, then you, you will see negative, a negative percentage in your investment change. But the bot is going to be making profits on the way down and then on the way back up again, if we are in an uptrend. That's one scenario. Another scenario where you could see red is 
say for example, oh, I'm gonna use my example. Okay, so let's go over, let's go over to my laptop. So I showed you about this one. Now this one is also range. So we've got cost USDT. Let's see um, up here. Now uh, this is really big again. So I got in somewhere around here and market was consolidating quite a bit. The what performs extremely well when the market is consolidating. So if you are a technical analysis, so if you trade and you are trading trend and you don't really know how to trade sideways, the bot is excellent for that. Get on the bot and it was, it's gonna place those trades for you in the sideways market. Here we have a sideways market, which I was happy with. And by the way, like in my defense, let's just make this a bit smaller. For those of you who understand Look at this. Look at this uptrend. It's beautiful. And I did get in late. You want to get in somewhere around here, right? So I got in up here at the top. So, you know, <laughs> it wasn't given that the market was going to run out of steam at some point. But anyways, I got in here hoping to find a little bit more steam in the market. But what happened is that we consolidated and then price dropped. I fell out of the grids. I fell out of the grids. I fell out of the grids. And now it's starting to make a movement back upwards but I'm still in a negative because I got in here, right? I got in here and now I'm here. So there's this, this, this percentage here in negative. So the price of cost against US dollar has actually dropped. The price of cost against US dollar has dropped since I opened the bot. 5.28% taking into account the bot profits. So this here is my real profit or loss. So I am down because cost is down against US dollar. When the price of cost starts to recover, then this number should go green. Should and will go green. <laughs> okay, moving on. We have Venus, Venus BNB. Now, <laughs> this is funny what happened here, right? So if we just scroll up, some of you have definitely been following the market and you are going to remember this. What is this here? I'm going to explain the other market condition that can happen that will bring your bot into a negative investment change percentage. The other one that can happen is, is the one that happened to me as well. And this is why I am down 35, 35%. Right, this is what happened to me, and it and it can happen to you. <laughs> and what happened is, I invested Venus against BNB right before BNB just went <laughs> to the moon, like literally hit the moon and went beyond. Right, so some of you might remember BNB doing this just recently, and I got into the trade the day before this happened. And so, if we have a look at the chart we'll see that I got in the day before, beautiful, made some lovely trades. And I even remember thinking, wow, nice profit, right? And then this happened. What this bar here represents, it represents the strength of BNB, the true strength of BNB against Venus. So BNB went and Venus went So BNB, Venus couldn't quite catch up, couldn't quite, couldn't quite catch up with Venus. And so, it represented itself in the form of a very long red bar. And then BNB, as we can see here, is still stronger versus um, Venus. But that does not mean, let me say that again, that does not mean that Venus is a bad investment. Okay, so while the price of BNB is going up, the price of Venus is very likely also going up. Just that BNB is outperforming Venus. And so that's when you can get a negative investment change in a bull market. Okay, so in a bull market, you can get a negative investment change when both of your currencies are going up, but one completely outperforms the other one. What would you do in a case like this? What would you do if this happened to you? You can either sit, you can either sit through it. If you're like a long-term investor and you just, you don't mind the fluctuations in price in the market, then you can sit through it because what's happening is you hold, you're still holding some BNB, but you're also holding some Venus, right? You can sit through it, but, uh, or you can get out, like, especially if it's out of range, like mine is way out of the range, so I would get out because it's not doing anything. And so get out anyways. And as I said before, in order to do that, you would just click on here, cancel all open orders if you want to hold some Venus. Otherwise you go to set up market price if you don't, if you want to exchange your Venus for BNB. Um, but 
what it would be way 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 smarter if venus has been going up so venus listen to this listen to this venus has been going down against bnb but it's been going up against what against usdt all right it's been going up against tether so what would be smart to do in this case what would be smart would be to close the bot cancel all open orders all right do not sell it for bnb because the value has dropped and then you have you'll be holding some venus and some bnb the venus that you have what you can do because venus is strong against us dollar is you can trade it for us dollar manually that's the smart way to do it and i'm just using my mine as an example but you will have your own example you probably have s6p or something else so when would you exchange it for us dollar now if you do know how to read the charts then you can probably have a look at the chart and see when the best time would be for you to trade venus us dollar given you've got some venus to trade against us dollar you would sell your venus for us dollar at the peak so if your venus is a little bit weak against us dollar you wait for your venus to get strong against us dollar and then you can get out and you can exchange your venus for us dollar you get more us dollar if you do it that way when the bots are out of range they're not making you any money they're not making you any profits and just to be clear the change is taking into consideration the bot profits, okay? The change is taking into consideration the bot profits. So I am down 35% including the bot profit here. So this here is representing my actual profit or loss. And this here is only representing the bot profit. Now, before you leave, before you leave, <laughs> I have something very important for you to do. Let, let's just use Venus BNB as an example. You need to take note of the price that Venus was at against US dollar the moment you open the bot so that if things do go downhill and you close all open orders, you know when to sell your Venus for US dollar. Say for example, your Venus cost 50 US dollar when you got in, when you opened your bot orders and then you know everything happened and then this happened <laughs> minus 35 percent and you're thinking i'm even out of the grid and there's no point and you know what i'm just going to close this bot but i'm going to keep my venus say for example your venus now instead of 50 us dollars actually gone down to 48 us dollar no let's, yeah let's just say 48 i mean that's not not a big difference but let's say you want to actually profit a little bit more from it then you can hold your you can hold your venus and wait until the price of your venus against us dollar goes up to let's say 60 and then you can cash out into into us dollar and that way you can assure that you've made a profit all right um as long as your bnb is also going up in value both of them need to go up in value. This is the number one rule in technical analysis. Have a trading plan, okay? So for the bot, it's no different. I'm gonna show you an example of a trading plan for yourself. It doesn't need to be complicated. Trading bot, altcoin, so let's say for example, Venus, date, whatever date it is, how much, the bot is gonna tell you how much you've bought. So let's go back to the bot and let's just place an imaginary trade. I'm just gonna click on anything. The moment you hit start, it's going to ask you, is it okay if I buy X amount of Venus? Now, that amount of Venus, you put here, okay? And then trading pair. So you are trading Venus against B and B. And then price against USDT, $50. Okay, so how do you figure out what, what the price was at at the moment of opening the bot? Go to Google and type in XVS USD, and then you'll get some search results. Look for the one that says CoinGecko, click on it, and then you'll see, oh, wow, I actually guessed it. The price of Venus is 50 US dollar. You'll take that 50.52, and then the moment you open the bot, you'll put it in here, 50, 52. That way, if things do go a little bit south, then you know what price you got in at, and so you know that you want to sell it a little bit higher, so you might want to wait. But you can cut your losses, you know, that's fine. We do this all the time in trading, but we want to minimize losses. So if you're happy to wait for a price to correct itself and to go back to its previous price, then, then you have a look at your trading plan and 
you will wait for the price against your installer to become equal again or to go up a little bit. Just to recap, the best strategy to minimize losses on the bot is to pick really strong outs within the top 10 if you can. If you go to coinmarketcap.com, if you pick if you pick some coins within the top 10 here, but obviously do your research, I'm invested in Cardano and let's see how that did. So investment change 17, bot profit 26. Finance Coin BNB, I've, I've got that as a quote currency because I'd like to increase the amount of BNB that I hold in my wallet. So that's what your quote currency is for, is to increase the amount of that currency in your wallet. Polkadot, I've got some DOT, let's see how that has performed. 31%, I didn't put too much on it, 1,300. So that is nice, thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, study the project, be informed, do your due diligence. I can never say that word properly. And you see, so you've got the top 10 there, you can probably even go down to the top 20 and do a little bit of research. You can go in quickly, go out quickly, but I think this is more for people who are used to trading. If you are not used to trading, you wanna be more long-term. I do have some long-term ones where I've been sitting in them for months, for, well, for months, <laughs> for two months. <laughs> The bot is a very good source of passive income where I don't really need to look at the chart and if I'm feeling lazy when it comes to trading then I've got the bot. I didn't mean for this video to be really short. I actually thought it was going to be a five minute video. I can't make five minute videos. I like to talk. I'm just like bah, 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 bah. Anyways, I hope you didn't get bored of me. <laughs> Please remember to subscribe. I hope this was useful by the way please let me know in the comments below if you still don't understand what this is and if you'd like me to explain it a little bit better make sure you check out my other bot videos i will leave them in the description below if you'd like to sign up for the bot let me just show you my profits okay let's just come back here for a second profit five thousand okay so it is um nice profits for not doing anything um so if you'd like to sign up for the bot if you use my referral link you'll get a pro account for free for two weeks so that you can start placing some trades um, for yourself and you can check out my tutorial in order to understand how to use a bot it's very easy it's very beginner friendly you don't need to have any knowledge in technical analysis or trading you can use the bot as a beginner it the candlesticks will probably be a little bit intimidating for you to look at but that's all right you don't have to look at that section until you become a little bit more knowledgeable i am creating a technical analysis playlist where i explain candlesticks ohlc bars and how to actually understand what's happening on the charts so make sure you check out that playlist as well if you are a complete beginner to this whole space exciting space <laughs> i know what else i'm gonna tell you uh what else is there what else is there i am on facebook and twitter and telegram and on Instagram, I'm not great at Instagram, but feel free to follow me over there and I'll get better at it. Let's wrap it up here. I will let you get on with your day. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.